and, and thank you so much for coming to the, the launch of Heal for Life UK. Uh, we're so pleased that there's so many of you here today and uh, it's just wonderful to be looking out and seeing you all there. Uh, obviously we're meeting at a time where the issue of child abuse is higher up the public agenda than it's ever been, certainly at any point in my lifetime, uh, possibly at any point ever. So uh, we're very aware that there's something massive going on at the moment, a sort of seismic change in our culture which we see as very positive and we're very pleased to be part of the solution to the problem of child abuse and I, I want to make it very clear that we're, we're very aware that we are simply a part of uh, a, a whole solution uh, of which you're all part too. Which is why, which is why you're here. Uh, obviously, we're we're passionate about what we're doing, as I'm sure you will pick up during the course of uh, the various presentations. Uh, and we believe that we have something very positive uh, and, and valuable to offer. Uh, but as I say, we're equally aware that we are simply a link in a chain, of which you're all part two. So thank you so much for for being here. And uh, we very much want to work with every individual and organisation out there that wants to help survivors of child abuse. A uh, couple of safety things before we go any further. First of all, the, the fire escape is effectively, fire exit is the way you came up, so just out there down the stairs. Uh, and if anyone needs to take a couple of minutes time out at any point during the presentation, uh, feel free to just go and sit in that, that room at the back where the coffee and the sandwiches are served and, uh, uh, and just relax. Uh, in terms of the format of what we're going to do, in, in a minute, I'm going to introduce the Heal for Life team, uh, and uh, then Liz Mullenart will speak for something like half an hour about uh, how the model was developed and what it is. Uh, Jen will say a few words about her personal experience of uh, Heal for Life, uh, and Lucy and Francis will talk about uh, where we've got to in terms of delivering it uh, in the UK, uh, and then we'll have sort of five, ten minutes for questions which will probably take us to about quarter past one, um, at which point you'll be let loose on sandwiches and drinks again, and we hope that people will stay and talk to us and to each other, and that that will be uh, valuable for all of us. So introductions. Uh, well, I am Ravi Holy, as uh, some of you know. Obviously, I've got quite a lot of old friends uh, in this room. I'm very pleased to have you all here. Uh, I've spoken to quite a few of you on the phone uh, in advance of this, and uh, for the rest of you, I'm Ravi Holy. I am the chair of Heal for Life in the UK. My day job is I'm a vicar in the Church of England. Uh, I'm also a survivor of various kinds of child abuse. And I went out to Australia to do uh, the Heal for Life Healing Week uh, nearly two years ago now. And it, I'm one of the 90% the according to the research that uh, found it either extremely positive or life changing. And in fact, to be very detailed about it, I'm one of the 57% that found it life-changing. Uh, I've been in a process of recovery for uh, 25 years, and in fact, there's a couple of people in the room, not that I want to out them, uh, who, who were there when that first started. Uh, in the course of that 25 years, I've spent at least seven years in intensive one-on-one -on -one therapy myself, uh, which was hugely helpful and in itself life transforming, turned me from someone that was completely incapable of holding down any kind of job or relationship into someone that's been happily married for 16 years and has been working as a vicar in the church living for seven or eight years and doing a reasonable job, I like to think, as several of my parishioners, uh, past and present here today, who can, can confirm or, or deny that. But, so, so I mean, certainly the therapy I did was life transforming in itself. But even in spite of that, when I went out to Heal for Life to do the, 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 the week there, I, and I simply wasn't prepared for how massive and how helpful that would be. And it was as if I did 10 years therapy in a week. I know that sounds like a, a, a massive overstatement, but I really, I genuinely can't <coughs> overestimate how helpful and valuable it was for me. Uh, and I sound like a true believer, but I am, and uh, it, that's why I'm now so excited and enthusiastic about this project. Uh, I'm going back to Australia in February to do the carer training program so that I will be able to help uh, care on the, the healing week that we're running in May, uh, and I'm very excited about that. So, enough about me. Um, 
This is Liz Mullinart, the founder and CEO of Heal for Life in Australia, and I'll say much more about her when I introduce her in a moment. But the rest of the team, this is Lucy Huntington, who is uh, Liz's sister, you can probably see the family resemblance. And Lucy is also an extremely experienced facilitator of the Heal for Life model, she's been involved in it from the beginning. Uh, her day job is she's a garden designer of a very high-end variety. Uh, her husband Francis is a partner in the business as well as in life, a very experienced administrator and business manager, has all the, the skills that Lucy and I don't have, I think it would be fair to say, of an organisational nature, so we're very grateful to and dependent on Francis, who's also uh, an experienced carer in the model, again, been involved with it from the beginning. Uh, Jane is also a carer in the Heal for Life model. Her background is she uh, was the principal of a school for special needs children in Australia. And for the last little while, she's been running the, the children's program in Australia, but she's now back in her native UK. Uh, her accent sort of morphs between Manchester and somewhere in Australia, as you will see uh, when she says a few words later, but we're delighted to have her with us. And this is Harrowood Harrison, who some of you will know from uh, his work with Childline. We're so pleased to have Harrowood working with us. He's extremely experienced in, in setting up major organisations dealing with this kind of issue, uh, and particularly working with organisations staffed by volunteers but managed professionally, so, as well as his work with Childline. He worked with NAPAC, and we're very pleased to have uh, NAPAC people here today. And, and Harrowood is giving us invaluable help and advice with regards to governance and, and, and that kind of thing. Uh, so we're delighted to have him as a trustee. And, and Harrod, I believe you wanted to make some form of statement. Before yeah. going to go. um, good morning and thank you to everybody for coming. Um, thank you especially to friends I've known for many, many years and to other people I haven't met before, but I hope to say hello to you all of them when we have our sandwiches. Um, my dear friend and the previous uh, Chief Executive Childline Baroness Valerie Howarth has helped us on the way by hosting a meeting at the House of Lords in our preparation for the Heal for Life launch. And she would very much want to have been with us today. Unfortunately, she cannot be here because she's had major surgery and more to come, unfortunately. So she sent a message she wants me to read out for everybody. Please, would you give everyone my good wishes? Heroin and I have worked for abused children and adults for many decades. The present focus on the problem may give further opportunities for progress, but the history of justice for victims has been very mixed. That is why I admire the tenacity of purpose of everyone involved in Heal for Life to give real, practical, sustained and positive help to those still struggling with the pain of abuse. I am sorry not to be with you, but I wish you all success for the future, with every good wish and blessings on the important work you are undertaking. Thank you, Harold. Valerie. And uh, we have apologies from two other people, one of whom is also called Valerie, uh, Valerie Sinuson, I'm sure many of you will know, uh, was hoping to be here today, and may still be, she may turn up later, uh, but she too was undergoing some form of surgery today, so pro probably we won't see her, but it's nice to know we've got her, her support. Uh, and the other person we're very sad couldn't be with us today is our patron, Jane Williams, uh, who was my tutor at Theological College in Bristol. Uh, is uh, she lectures at St Melitus Theological College in London uh, and it's because of her that we have access to the, the fabulous retreat centre that we're going to be hosting the, uh, the first couple of healing weeks and hopefully subsequent healing weeks in. Uh, Jane also has the distinction of being married to the current Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams, uh, although as you know from the papers in the last few days, uh, they're, they're moving back to, to Cambridge and I think they're looking very much forward to that because I think it will be more fun for them. But uh, Jane is a, a wonderful person to have supporting us, as well as being a wonderful person generally, and, and she too sent her, her best wishes to everybody here. So Liz, Liz Mullinar, what can I say about Liz Mullinar before I invite her up to the top? Liz, uh, as some of you will know, was already uh, a public figure in Australia before uh, her work with Heal for Life. She was a casting director in the movie business. Uh, and we have her personally to thank for the, not the existence, but the careers of people like Nicole Kidman, Kate Blanchett, Jeffrey Rutch, and Jeffrey Rutch, and pretty much any other Australian actor you could name. And if that had been your only contribution to world history, that would be, you know, enough as far as I'm concerned. But uh, in 1995, Liz decided that she wanted to devote the rest of her life and considerable energy to helping survivors of abuse. 
and uh, Heal for Life is the result of that. It's been running now for about 15 years. It's a major organisation in Australia. I mean, Liz had already been decorated for her services to the movie business with the equivalent of uh, an OBE. Uh, she's been decorated and recognised again for the humanitarian work she's done with Heal for Life. So uh, we're absolutely delighted that she was able to, to be over from Australia for this launch today. And I'm sure that you will enjoy hearing what she's got to say. So please welcome Liz. While I put on this microphone, we're actually just going to play you first of all a, a DVD just to give you a bit of background and so you can actually see what Heal for Life looks like. So Jessica <coughs> has decided that she is the whiz, is going to put it on. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> 